first thing you do is set your camera up on a tripod, record with nobody there. Then have your subject come in to the frame and have them set freeze like they're ready so they're going to freeze. You can start a new recording, get them to freeze, and then when you say, just before you say go, you take a picture as you're recording and go. Um, I'm going to start, I have three videos and I have one picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this picture and I'm going to select this, uh, the person out of the picture. To do that, I need to, to make sure that these tools are available. I'm going to go down to the smart lasso tool and I'm going to go very roughly around the outside. I don't want to get too close. I'm going to have to do some trimming afterwards and that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go very roughly around the outside of my subject. Once I've done that, command C, copy, and command N, new from clipboard, and it's going to give me just this part. And you see it's not exactly perfect, but I'm going to quickly do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use the lasso and with the lasso selection one of the things that you can do is I'm just gonna drag in closer I can zoom in as much as I want when I let go it completes the loop so it's easy to cut off parts now for example another thing I can do really easily and simply is I can like if I start here and I have a straight line I can go around to there and then let go and it'll give me a straight line so same thing here I want to go to this part of the knee, straight line. So that can be very, very, very helpful um, when you're doing this. So I'll, I'll just quickly do this, finish doing this. And the next step is to go into Keynote. And in Keynote, what I want to do is put the video where I took the shot from into the Keynote. And I need to move it to the point just before she started going because she might have swayed a bit. So I'm going to just zoom in here a bit and move this poster frame. See how there's a little bit of movement. I want to move this to just before the point that she moved. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to also turn the opacity down and then I'm going to put my picture that I've just done into here. Just drag that in there. And obviously I need to make it a bit smaller. So this is where I'm going to resize and try. I'm going to try to fit this as best I can in that exact spot. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the video in the background. I'm going to change the background color to the green screen color. And then I'm going to click on this picture and animate it and have a build in effect. I'm going to use the anvil effect coming in like that. There we go. That works pretty well. I could if I want, you can make it slower. And if you take a look at it, it sort of makes a lot the, 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 the this has a bit more smoke there, but it's a bit slower there. I'm gonna, two seconds is gonna be good for me. Let's take, take a look at that. That looks pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this as a movie. And when I export it as a movie, I don't need any transitions. Let's put this into, into my superhero landing folder. There we go. And so it's going to create that movie. So now I'm going to go into iMovie. And I'm going to start with my first video. Just with nothing in there. So this is my first video. And I don't need very much time in here. This was on a tripod. So I can just get rid of this last part here. 
I don't necessarily probably even need six seconds. That's a lot of time. Okay, well, I got three seconds there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my second video. And same thing, I need to trim this video just before the point where she starts to move. So, right, I can see her starting to move there. Right there. So, I'm going to get rid of this beginning part here. And let's, I can have this maybe go to there. And I'm just going to go blade. And so now I've got my video here. I can take the sound out. I can put, I'll put some other music in there afterwards. Um, and now let's get my green screen. And I'm going to put that into this part here. Now, probably two seconds is too, is too long. I'll change this to the cutaway to green screen. So when I look at this, I probably want to overlap this just a little bit with the second frame. It's probably a bit slow. Maybe I'll speed it up just a bit. I can probably double that speed. And again, just overlap a little bit. So now, and there we go.